got a lot in store for you today, Eve. You are our first guest on today's show, Women with Secrets. The not, the not so upstanding Dr. Eve Russell, and she's here today because her sordid secret has ruined her daughter's life. I don't understand. It's all going to become crystal clear to you, I promise. Okay, but first we have someone who has a few words for you. Your daughter, Whitney Russell. you do this to me, mother? Why didn't you tell me that Chad Harris was my brother? Oh, I'm sorry. Well, I'm a little late for that now. I'm pregnant with Chad's baby. This is even better than I thought. We're going to have more surprises when we come back. Stay with us. Thank you. Welcome back. We have a hot show today, and uh, as we welcome women with their secrets. But let's get down to business right away. Okay. Okay, Eve, I think the burning question here is, how did your daughter get knocked up by her half-brother? Well, I didn't know. I swear that they told me that the baby died. Well, obviously somebody lied to you, because here's that baby all grown up. He is the father of his half-sister's baby. Say hello to Chad Harris. Dr. Russell, is it true? Is it true you're really my mother? I, I swear, Chad, I didn't know. I didn't know. Well, like, that's supposed to make me feel better? A lot of screwed up big time because of you. Oh, please listen to me. I didn't even know that it was a possibility. Yeah. I don't want to get technical here, but that's not exactly true, because didn't your best friend, Grace Bennett, tell you that Chad could be your son? Grace is always having strange visions. <laughs> and Ivy Crane, she told you of the possibility. Oh, why would I listen to her? I don't even like her. Okay. Now, if you all remember, see, Grace and Ivy here aren't exactly best pals, because until recently, Ivy has been passing off her son, Ethan, as the son of Julian Crane. But, but, Grace just found out that her beloved husband, Sam, is really Ethan's father. But that, that's another show, that's another show. Okay, they are mortal enemies. Grace Bennett and Ivy Crane, come on out. I baked this just for you. It's my famous tomato soup cake. Mm. Tomato soup cake. I'm not sure I ever had any, but uh, that's very sweet of you. Thank you very much. So, save me a piece. Um, yeah, Grace, uh, let me start with you. Uh, isn't it true that you told Eve that Chad could be her son? That's correct. Oh, well, I, um, I told her that he's the right age. And I warned her of the evil that's in harmony that's been ruining lives, and that it could ruin her life, too. That's very interesting, evil in harmony. And if my memory serves me correctly, your niece, Charity, is trapped in hell? <laughs> well, that's, that's, that's correct. And, and, and I, I hope that everyone in the audience would say a prayer for her. Wow, this harmony seems like a pretty wacky town. I guess next you're going to tell me there are witches there? Okay, okay, let's get back to our guests. Um, Ivy, uh, you also told Eve that Chad could, uh, could be her son. Uh, when did you discover that possibility? Well, Larry, years ago, my pig of a husband, Julian, yeah. had an affair with Eve. Oh. Later, when I found out that Eve had been pregnant by Julian, I just put it together. Did you tell Eve your suspicions at the time? When I saw that Whitney and Chad were getting so close, which, quite frankly, I find rather disgusting, considering they could be siblings, I warned Eve, but she wouldn't listen. Oh. Mom, you could have stopped this. This is all your fault. How can you, how can you do this to us? What are we going to do now? Huh? Huh? I didn't do it. Oh, I didn't oh, know. Oh, a lot of good that does us now. What are we going to do? Well, Chad, I tell you what, it's time to meet your lovely father. But before we do, before we do, I want you to take a look at that monitor there because we have a nice family album and you will see 
how your folks love each other. Let's take a look. <laughs> okay, Julian Crane, it's your turn in the hot seat. Come on out. I thought I was here to discuss the Crane Industries charities in the third world. <laughs> Jules, uh, you thought wrong. We're here to discuss your bastard son, <laughs> Chad Harris, and uh, the fact that uh, you're soon going to have an inbred grandson. <laughs> Chad Harris, my son. Obviously, you've made a mistake. Hey, yo, you the fool who abandoned my mother because he didn't want to have a black kid? Okay. <laughs> I'm making you pay. <laughs> Grace, I meant every word I said. And it doesn't matter that I knew that you were standing there. Yes, it does. I will never know that you didn't make everything up. Why should I trust you, Sam? Because I love you. I always have and I always will. You are doing a lousy job showing it. Grace, what do I have to do to prove it to you that everything I said was true? There is what? nothing you can do. The fact is, you knew I was standing there, and I will never believe anything you say to me again, Sam. Are you saying I'm evil, Father? No, I do not believe you are evil. But you do not think about how your actions affect other people, innocent people. I have a warning for you. A warning? Harmony is filled with evil. It is all around us. What is with this town? Why is everybody obsessed with evil? This is no joke. You must not let this evil influence your actions. If you do, your life and the lives of those closest to you will be destroyed. Do you really mean it? Nothing will ever come between us. From the bottom of my heart, I swear to you, there is nothing could ever keep us from being together. When you say that, I feel so safe, protected. And that's how you should feel. <laughs> so we're gonna be together forever. I love you so much. I love you. spend the rest of my life in your arms. Good. So that's where you're gonna be. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not sure I heard you correctly, Father. Stop being such a wimp. You most certainly did hear me correctly. You're going to commit murder. You want me to kill Luis? <laughs> 